Hoarders. Today we're going to be playing some more GTA 5. And today we're going to be testing the new Vapid... What do you pronounce it? Uh... Oh, God. Yep, that word. Raytine. Raytune? I don't fucking know. Um... But, we're going to be testing this today. Um, to be completely honest, I'm going to drive this back to my one building. Um, I just, literally just got uh, the car completely maxed out. And now I'm poor again. But, uh, I mean, it's not a bad car. It, I Honestly, in my opinion... I think so far it's better than the Warrener, especially if you're uh, trying to make it into Paul Walker's escort, because it's a lot more accurate. I mean, in both of them, the livery isn't where you want it. It's supposed to be the white on the sides, um, but the Warrener's like garbage compared to that. Um, the, the Warrener doesn't have an option to even have the lights on the front. Um, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm fairly sure that Paul Walker's is a two-door. Um, yeah, his is a two-door. Um, I had a picture on my phone ready because, like, I whenever I do these cars... I look at a picture while I do them. That way I can make sure that they're as close as they can be. Um, yeah, his was a two-door. Um, what was it about? The... What else could you do with this? This one you could put uh, fender flares on it to match. I believe you could do the same with the Warner, but it wasn't as close. You could get hood pins on this one, which has had... Um, it's a lot more accurate. You can even get the mud flaps on it, like his. It's just all around more accurate, and I feel as if it's a lot faster. The suspension height is a lot better. Um, the grill even looks dented. The grill looks. Probably see it. Yeah, you can see it better with the lights off. But the grill's even more accurate than the other one. The other one's, like, slanted. It doesn't look quite right. So this makes me ask Rockstar the question of... Why didn't you just make this and never make the Warrener? Because if someone's going to get it for the car... They're both basically the exact same car. But this one's better in every single way so far. But... We're going to find out if it actually is faster, it feels faster, it sounds better, looks better. Um, but, uh, let's go over to head to the, yeah, go over to head. Um, let's go head to the track and see what we can get with this. Okay, let's see what we can get with this. <laughs> After the second try. Because are those trunk pins? Yes, they are. Um, this is the second try because I learned that like if you swerve left and then swerve right a little bit, you really lose your grip. I'll show you the turn that I messed up on, which is the reason why I'm doing this again. But uh, I just noticed while picking the car, like this is under the sports classic category and looking through all the other cars I feel like this doesn't belong in sports classic I feel like it's like I think they should have like a rally right here's the turn I messed up on yeah see I went right and then it like pushed left it wasn't that time it wasn't nearly as bad but as I was saying um like, they, they should make a category, like, I mean, it wouldn't be, I don't think it'd be hard to change that. 
but they should have a rally category of vehicle. Because, I mean, they have dirt, but this doesn't really belong. I don't think it belongs to the sports classic because you have some, if you're racing, you're not going to pick this unless you're just, you want to have fun and come in last place. But they have the, what was it? The classic Turismo, um, like all the old Lamborghinis. Um, and it just doesn't seem like it would go good against really any of them. Maybe the Roosevelt. But the last time I got, when I finished this, was 221 something. So we'll probably come in around around there because the when I messed up it wasn't terrible terrible but it was bad enough that I called for um, a redo because when I swerved it like put me in almost a complete stop but the 221 times not that great slide and actually did worse. Holy tits. Um, okay. Let's go over the leaderboard then. As you can see, the Vapid Root... I'm, I'm gonna botch this name every single time I say it. Um, the car I tested got 2 minutes 21.676 seconds. I know that's not what it showed in the video, but that's what I got on the first run, so I just took the best of the two that I did, um, which happened to be um, tied with the um, Burger Shot Stallion, uh, which got pushed in the 30th place, but... Um, the routine, I'm going to call it routine, I don't even give a fuck anymore. Um, it did beat the Warrener. Um, the Warrener was in 43rd place at 2 minutes 31.288 seconds. Uh, I just wrote that down on a piece of paper. I checked my list. So, not only did the routine beat it, but it basically destroyed it and almost beat it by half. Um, not, like, number-wise, uh, by place. Um, it was ten seconds faster than the Warrener. Um, but, uh, let's go over the drag track and see what we can get with this. Okay, let's see what we can get on this one. I do think this, like, everything about this is better, except... Uh, the roll cage I want painted black. I think every car I ever had on like GTA or e like even my summer car I have the roll cage painted black it, every time I can because it like it sticks out a lot less and I like it to be accurate because in the movie his was black or yeah his was black. around 25 seconds 25.630 seconds uh, not sure where that place so uh, let's head over to leaderboard and find out um, on the drag track the vapid retinue which is I actually went to uh, Google Translate and just typed it in so it would uh, so I could hear back exactly the way it said that's what Google said, so I'm assuming that that's the correct way, which makes more sense after I heard it. Um, but it came in 25th place at 25.630 seconds, um, right behind the Vapid Blade, which is actually a quick muscle car. Um, it's... I'm happy that it's better than the Warrener, so now my question still stands of why the Warrener was ever made, because it's slower, uglier, 
Um, there's not nearly as many um, upgrades that you can do, like, visual-wise. Which I'm actually surprised that Rockstar did something, like, that there's more add-ons on this vehicle. Because they've been recently pretty lazy with having stuff that is customizable. Because it's usually now just the car and then just regular engine upgrades and stuff. But uh, I'll leave it at that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to watch one of my previous, next, and related videos. And remember to follow me on Twitter and Facebook so you can get notified whenever I post a video. And I will see you guys in the next one.